Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a hinge adjustment. Okay, we're going to adjust the hinges on this door. You can see at the top, I have a gap tighter at the left, and at the, the strike side, it's a little low. You can see on the door, it's touching the jam all the way on the right at the top, but all the way down at the bottom, there's a gap. Okay? And then on the left side, the hinge side, we have a gap at the top, and as you follow all the way down, there's no gap at the bottom. Okay? Now, I've already checked the hinges. I opened it. I moved the door, or tried to move the door, but the door didn't move. The hinges didn't move. So that means all the screws are in tight. There's nothing wrong with the hinge itself of the attachment to the jam or to the door. If you have that problem, then you can get longer screws and you can um, screw the longer screws in through the jam side if that's what's loose and tighten the hinge up, okay? Where on your regular hinges, you only have screws that are about an inch long, but you can get screws about two and a quarter inches long if you're having where it's sloppy front and your screws won't tighten up. So you'll use the longer screws to go through the jam and into the two by buck that's in the wall. So that'll tighten up and stiffen up that hinge. Okay, that's not our problem here. What our problem here is we have to, what we call squeeze the hinge, okay? We're gonna squeeze the hinge and move the hinge so that it moves the door, all right? Now, on your hinge, you have one, two, three, four, five knuckles, okay? Now, on your door side, two of the knuckles that are on the hinge touching and attached to the door. You have three knuckles that are attached to the jam, okay? I'm going to show you how to do this without removing the door, okay? It's very simple. You can use several different tools. They make a tool just for this called the knuckle bender. It has a, um, it looks like a crescent wrench, but it also has a little metal rod that you can push the pin up, okay, to pull the pin out, and then you can use that with a crescent wrench or the knuckle bender that looks like a crescent wrench, and you can adjust that. Okay, you can buy that tool. I'm going to have it down in the description. If you don't have that tool or don't want to buy it, if you have a crescent wrench, that will work. Don't okay, you'll use it just like the knuckle bender. All right, or I have a third option, which I have a pair of vice grips. Okay. It's a rounded tie type. Okay, and I can put it on there and squeeze it and bend what I need to do. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do it with the vice grips. I'm going to have in the description all three of these. Okay, the knuckle bender, because if you do carpentry work and you want to have this tool, it's a very good tool. Okay, it costs more than a crescent wrench or a pair of a set of vice grips. I'm showing you the other way because more than likely you have these tools in your toolbox and you'll be able to do it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to pull that pin out. Now you can use a putty knife, get right in here, pop it up, okay, and tap it with your hammer and the pin will come out, all right. I'm just going to use a little six penny eight penny nail put it right in the bottom okay pops your pin right up okay you can take the pin all the way out okay you have the pin all the way out now, get your adjust your vice grips. You're going to want to put it around it. Okay? 
It's not touching the door. You're going to stay off of it. Okay, now bend it towards the door. Okay, you're bending it towards the door. Do it to the second knuckle. Okay, you can see that they're not lined up now. Okay, I've moved it. Okay, make sure they're even. Okay, now that you have them moved, put your pin in the top, just gonna sit there at the top for now. And now open the door. Open the door. Open the door. You have to push a little. Okay, you see how that tightened it up right there? Okay, and now you can see it has opened it up some, okay? It's no longer touching the jam, okay? It has moved it over, okay? So it's made this gap nice. It's made the top gap pretty good. Now we still have a bigger gap at the bottom on this side. This side still, the gap is still a little bit big. And on this side, it's not quite touching it anymore, but it is slightly. So what we need to do is spread this hinge. Now you can do that a couple different ways. We can get in there and take the hinge off, shim behind the hinge, and move that hinge over, or we can spread it. Spreading it, uh, we can spread it. Spreading it's pretty simple. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what you do is now you put your vice grips in here and you close the door slowly on it. And then open it, put it down at the next knuckle, close it again slowly, put it here at the next knuckle, close it again slowly. Do that a couple times, then check the door. If it's moved to your desired area that you want, then you're done. If not, do it a few more times. Be careful what you're doing, don't slam it. Move the door slowly. It puts pressure on the hinge and spreads the hinge. Now we had bent the hinge at the top, okay, towards the door, so it moved the top over. Then I had to spread the bottom to move that over and now we have a gap there okay we have a good gap all the way up nice gap across the top and now this is no longer touching the jam and it has a nice gap all the way down okay that's it that's how you bend your hinge to make a hinge adjustment for your door Remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Look in the description for the different tools that you could purchase if you don't own one already. All right, I hope you like this video. I'll see you on the next one. 
Okay, that's it. That's how you adjust your hinge. Everything's down in the description. If you don't have one of the tools, you can purchase either one. They're not expensive. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Give me a thumbs up.